Hey what is up, this is Res Final, and today I am going to review Death Smiles. This is what the game looks like when it, you got it when it came in the box. The girls are on the top right there, and they're on the bottom as well. This actually was a pretty nice looking box, so I'm going to probably keep it and put it on my gaming shelf with the other boxes. And what was different about this, when you bought it for 50 it was the collector's edition right away. So you got this nice little faceplate with it. So that was really nice by them. And you got the game too, of course. And the game came with a music CD. Here's what the game looks like. That's the instruction booklet on its other side. And here's what the game looks like. It was nice seeing one of these scroll shooters from the States. I actually had a really good time with it. I wish more cave games would come to states, but one is good too. I mean, I had fun shooting up everything. It's really quick, that's what I like. The only problem I really had with it is trying to find people online. There's no one online for it. If you want to play me, just send me a message and I'll be more than happy to play you on there. And I don't know much more to say about it. It's awesome. If you're an achievement whore, you can get 400 achievements in one night. I done it with it. It's so easy to get achievements, it's awesome. And my final rating for this is a 2.5 out of 3. If you love brochures like I do, you're gonna have a blast with this. Press my mom. Death Smile is rated T for Teen for animated blood, fantasy, violence, mild language, mild subjective themes, and partial nudity. I would, but if you have a kid that's 11 or 12, I have no problem with, with them playing this. But anyone under, I wouldn't play it. It might scare them just a little bit. So this one is Ray T for Team.